Well, we got a beautiful Southern California day. Very little wind. Awesome visibility. But some pretty big bumps. Pretty big swells on the water today. We got three or four foot swells that are bumping us around a little bit. But other than that, it's gonna be a great day for looking for dolphins and whales. I'm Captain Dave's Dolphin and Whale Safari. Just offshore here in just 60 feet of water, we have two California gray whales. If you can see just under the surface, there's a little bit of light green in the water there. These guys are on the northern half of their migration that's 12,000 miles. These guys are headed back north after being in Mexico. Baja Peninsula for uh, five or six weeks. They are headed back to Alaska, north of Alaska. Chukchi Sea, even the Bering Sea. Some of these guys come from all the way from Russia across the Bering Straits. If you can see, just barely beneath the water, you can see this light colored green traveling right below the surface. Migration that gray whales have, it's the longest migration of any mammal on the planet. These guys have just turned in towards the shore a little bit. There they come, both of them side by side. California gray whales. That's beautiful, isn't it? Again, right off the shore here, we're in 60 feet of water. Very close to the boat here. I'll zoom back out a little bit so you can see how close we are to the boat. Okay. They keep coming a little bit closer. the other one. That is awesome. California gray whales headed back north to Alaska. that calmer water just to the inside here that's that's all kelp it's a giant kelp forest these kelp forests are the set have the second most amount of marine life compared to coral reef amazing amount of wildlife that live in the kelp paddies about 700 and some plus species that live in those kelp paddies and as whales will go outside that kelp paddy it should be right in between us and the kelp. See that they're moving outside the reef that you can see just between us and the shore. Cruising right alongside the boat. They're here they come right here, right next to the boat. You can see them underwater there. You can see the whole whale underwater. That's pretty awesome. Well, we have our fifth gray whale of the trip there, and this is a little guy who's a little late for the party because he is a southbounder. Most of the whales we're seeing now are northbound whales. You can see its footprints tracking right here. There he is. 
what this guy has. This might be his first or second migration. Could be the first time he's done it. Just a little guy. Like Captain mentioned, it could be his first or second migration on its own. The first trip they take with mom, and after that they're on their own. One more glimpse, there she blows. A little California gray whale on a southbound migration. All right. I think that's probably the last go, we're going to go a scared, on our way back in. Five California gray whales on one trip. Pretty awesome. All right, we've just arrived on some California sea lions. We can tell they're sea lions because you can see the external ear flap on the side of their head. Seals don't have that. And seals couldn't get up on that buoy either. Only sea lions can because they have rotating back hips that allow them to climb up on the buoys. But these are California sea lions. They haul themselves out most of the day warm up in the sun. They do most of their hunting at night and they eat just about any kind of fish they can catch. I think they believe that these buoys were put out here just for them. That one man, he's seriously asleep. He's hanging way off the side. Let's zoom in on him. Look at him. He's hanging way off the side. California sea lions.